This is gonna be crazy. I can't wait. Mixing unknown chemicals, probably not the best idea. So I guess I'm fully entrenched in this project now. I did not expect today to be this productive. Welcome back to the channel for a vlog. Tell me why I have this new habit of just starting a vlog in bed. I think it motivates me to like actually get the day started because I'm like, okay, now I've said hello, let's get up, let's go shower, let's get ready for the day. But I have this big work project that I'm just waiting to see when they need me to film it and edit it by. It could be today, it could be tomorrow. So I'm just starting the vlog now so that whenever that pops up, I still get a whole vlog with you guys, but tomorrow is gonna be a crazy day. I have my official interview for culinary school tomorrow, which is like the fourth part. It was like a vision call and then an in-person kind of like stage and then the actual application and essay questions. But tomorrow is the official interview with like the chef team. And then they take that to admissions and you find out. So also tomorrow is a meal that I've been waiting for for months now that we're going to do as part, and I'm gonna make it part of the Michelin Possible series that I'm doing. So I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna get ready, and then we need to pick out an outfit because I have some new pieces from Quince. Y'all know that brown cardigan I live in? Everybody roasts me for wearing that every day. I go through phases where I hyperfixate on a piece of clothing. It's been that brown cardigan. So I got it in a cropped version too. I'm gonna get ready and we'll do that, but I love you, I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a crazy vlog. I can't wait. <laughs> I am getting to partner with Quince on today's video, which means all of these items I can link down below and those links do help to support my channel, which is always really nice when brands let me do that. There's a lot of really good things that they have, but their knits and their jewelry are the ones that I say you must because the price point in comparison to other brands and the quality is just so good. They have like a direct to consumer model. So they cut out the middleman and basically send straight from the factory to you, which every time there's a middleman, the price increases. So that's why you can get really quality things like cashmere and silk and linen and quality jewelry for a lot less money because of their kind of like business model that they've structured. So let's try on some things. <laughs> this is the cropped version of the cardigan I live in. Okay, I love the oversize. It's their fisherman cashmere. This is cashmere. So now I can have my fixation cardigan in two lengths. But, but, okay, just a second. You guys are tired of seeing me in the chocolate brown that I love so much. I got the oversized one in this like dark heathered gray as well. The, the long length is really nice for lounging around the house. I mean, I might wear one of these today, but I have a couple other really cute things. I have a confession. I broke into the package early and I've already worn this one. This one, kills it. The price point is like half of the of the cashmere one, but I really love the sleeves on these. It has a very subtle balloon sleeve. It's also the cropped. It's a lighter weight than the cashmere. It's like a little bit thinner of a knit, but it feels so good. Like it's not an itchy wool. I cannot do itchy wools. I cannot do it. I will not do it. This is like a very soft wool. It honestly feels very cashmere adjacent to me. So this might be the one I wear today, but I got another thing to try on. Okay, this is actually a two for one because this is a their linen shirt and their tank. Y'all probably have noticed that I basically live in like square neck tanks under everything and I hadn't tried theirs yet. It has like a really good amount of support. I'm not wearing anything underneath this and it kind of feels like I'm wearing a bra. So that is really nice. It's a little more long line than the other ones I normally wear. So that's also good for if I have slightly lower waisted pants. But this shirt, this is their like linen button up shirt, but I get this in an XL so that it's longer of a line. And then it gives a cool like beachy effortless kind of vibe and also makes a really good swimsuit cover up now that we're nearing summer. So I have this already in stripe and I've been loving it. So I got it in just this kind of like beige color as well. I also broke in and opened these early. These are so cute because they like kind of look like hoops from the front, but they're actually like a stud earring and they're like this gold drop. And I think that they're so funky and fun, but the other option are these. Both of these are gold vermeil. If you are a jewelry person, you, you already know this, but there's like gold plating, but then there's gold vermeil, which is like the next level up in quality. It's a thicker plating. This one is the Ridge half huggy hoop. And then these are the globe huggy hoop. So I'll link them both down below, but I have to decide which ones to wear. I guess I've been wearing this the last couple days, so maybe I switch it up, but I just like them both. <laughs> Quince items can be very popular and they do sell out really quickly. There was another thing I had my eye on and by the time I went to place my order, it had sold out. So I'll link all these things, but if it's in stock in your size, 
I recommend just grabbing it before it does sell out because they also offer 365 day returns, which is just wild. And they offer free shipping. So thank you Quince for partnering with me on this video. I'll have all these things linked down below. And let's make a plan for the day because I think the thing that my, my big work project, I think it still hasn't come through my inbox. I'm just waiting for the final approval. So that might be tomorrow's project. So I think today, if that doesn't come through, we just get to hang, which is ideal. Who am I? I live by the beach now. <laughs> okay, one of the many projects around the house that I've been procrastinating, besides getting fresh flowers, oh my gosh. RIP these lilies. These dang couch cushions. Thankfully, the covers are removable. And I've washed them once before, but it didn't really do much. And this is Max's favorite spot to sit. Can you tell? Can you tell this is where he sits? This is his favorite. So I'm curious about soaking these. I have like an oxygen boost thing. I don't know, it came with the whole kit when I ordered Branch Basics. And it says it's supposed to like whiten whites. I'm curious about removing all of these and like soaking them in a bathtub with that and then washing them. And then I think we're gonna probably have to hang to dry. It's gonna be a two day project probably. Are we having anybody over tonight? I don't think so. We can have a naked couch, it'll be fine. I actually never filled this bathtub before, ever, but I am glad we have this bathtub because in our bathroom we don't have a bathtub and this will definitely be one day, hopefully, where we wash little babies, which is so cute. So I'm glad we have it. Um, Just gonna let that fill up. Purely experimental. This is what I was talking about, this oxygen boost. But look, whitens and brightens, removes stains and odors. I might do a couple scoops of this because it's one scoop for our laundry or two scoops for heavily soiled or large loads. And I want it to soak as much as possible. So I think I'm gonna do two scoops of this. This is a stain solution that you're supposed to like put directly on a stain but I kind of wonder what happens if I just mix this in the water also. Mixing unknown chemicals, probably not the best idea, but if it's made for laundry, then it's kind of made to be mixed with like detergents and stuff, right? So I'm just going for it. <gasps> the water is turning such a gross color already. Do you see that, Max? That's from you. That's from you, dude, that's your dirt. Gosh, that's so gross. Look at that color already. Okay, another project that I really need to do that I really don't want to do is eventually tackle this closet. We're between guests right now. It's really bad. I actually tried to peek the other day and I couldn't open it. And so I gave up. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> this side is wedding stuff, which basically we can go through and decide which of these things to keep for hosting. Like we have so many good things for hosting. Cups that are stamped, cute, cute plates. And we can continue to make the hosting cabinet in the laundry room. This side, I simply do not know what all is over here. Oh my gosh. Do we want to do this project? It kind of sounds horrible. I'm going to just start pulling things out and the things that will eventually go into the storage unit, I'm going to put on the bed for now and figure out a spot for it later. And the things that I wanna keep downstairs accessible for hosting, I'll put in this little den space to take downstairs later. I'm gonna give myself like maybe an hour because then I'd really like to head out and run some errands with y'all before the day gets too late. Listening of choice today is the What We Said podcast. Um, yes, I am a valley girl. Oh, and I also got a new Octobuddy, so I can just put my phone. out and into piles we have the pile of things that I want to organize in our laundry room as like hosting things the pile of things that will go to the storage unit and I went ahead and ordered just like storage tubs so that we can fold and like keep those safe from bugs for like tablecloths and things of the sort that we will keep so that we can continue to host things here like 
other people's bridal showers, baby showers, whatever, if the church needs anything. Jordi had some random clothes from before we finished building out a closet, <laughs> so I took those down. Now, my goal is we have all of our spare bedding in my office closet. We have a mattress topper, duvet, tons of pillows, all things of the sort, and my goal is to organize it somewhat seamlessly in here so that um, it's almost kind of like a closet bedding stash. And then I will have my closet back in my office to eventually organize camera gear and all that sort of thing. Whew, okay, we have a whole half a closet for guests when they come to stay to you know stash their suitcase away, hang their clothes. This half is now all additional bedding. I don't know a great way to store this foam topper and it looks like it is ripped. I don't know when that has happened. It's kind of a disgusting color now that I can see the inside of it. So maybe we get a new one and I don't know if anyone has a suggestion of how to store it, but the pullout couch in my office kind of needs it when people sleep on it. Um, we have our extra duvets. We have all the extra pillows up here. So have a little bedding side and an empty side. And down the line, I need to, this will be a future project for us in my office. I have some donate things down here but it was covered in the mattress topper and the bedding and all of those pillows. So now I can build out something in here and actually store gear and all that sort of stuff. And it's been over an hour. So I say, <laughs> disgusting. I'm gonna drain that and maybe let it kind of drip drip for a while before I try to carry that downstairs. I might need a bucket to carry that downstairs actually so I don't drip all the way through the house to run it officially through the washer. Wow, I did not expect today to be this productive, but here we are. I'm not mad about it at all. So the storage bins just arrived, but before we get back to the hustle, you wanna open a little gift with me? This is from Jordy, and I think I know what it is because I hinted that I wanted it a couple of times. <laughs> mm, I'm so excited! It's an apron, it's a nice apron. It's a bougie apron. Okay. It's the type that like crisscrosses behind your back. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. The brand is Headley and Bennett. This is the back. Look at how cute the little crisscrosses in the back. I'm so excited for this. Honestly, this would also be great for pottery and for gardening, but definitely for the kitchen. I think I'm gonna go hang it on my cute new little hooks in the laundry room, which, okay, I'm trying to think of next steps. Organize all the hosting things in the laundry room, stock the laundry room fridge because it's been empty with drinks and we have a lot of guests over. And I'm like, you want any drinks? Go grab it from the fridge. And there's like one and a half drinks in there. So restock that and then go through all of the boxes and organize them into the storage bins, but mostly just the things that might get buggy, like the fabrics, I feel like are most important to kind of air, airtight seal. To be honest, I don't fully want to face the massive mess I've just made around the house. There's a lot of random boxes that I'll need to deconstruct and recycle. And then these hanging everywhere, they look cleaner, but I still feel like they're not fully, 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 fully clean. I'm gonna take Max on a walk and then go run some errands because getting out of the house sounds very good. And I think I just found out we might be doing a beach bonfire with some friends tonight which would be so great. I would love that very much. So lots of good out of the house things to do, but I mostly just need to run and pick up some produce, maybe some frozen meals, fresh flowers, and a couple little random things from Trader Joe's. I think that's it. 
I think it should be pretty quick and easy. So might get that off the list. I just remembered while we're here, our um, new next door neighbors just moved in, which is exciting. They seem really cool. They're like our age, very sweet. Just in passing, we've said hey a few times, but we want to officially go over and like welcome them to the neighborhood. And so I think I'm going to bring them a bottle of wine. I feel like these days you can't really bring like baked goods or whatever because someone might have a nut allergy or gluten or whoever knows. So there's this one bottle of wine here at Trader Joe's that we've given to a couple people before and they've loved it. We've, we've had it at our house too. And I'll show y'all what it is because it seems to be a hit. So I'm hoping that that's here because I'll just get that. That's easy. Okay, this is the one right here. This educated guess. The label's so cool. It's like a chemistry equation and it's a hit. Also, do you think that they're gonna judge me? Look at how full of frozen food this is. This is just how you cost effectively feed boys. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. <laughs> I just got so distracted because our freezer has never been fully empty and it came with the house, it was just like the garage freezer and it was caked in dirt in there. And I just scrubbed with like a brush with bristles the whole inside and now it's so clean. And now I wanna do a magic trick where I stock this like it's like it's a grocery store. Ready? Okay. Did it work? Look at all the selections. Easy for someone to grab an easy little dinner. Ooh, that feels nice. That feels good. Honestly, I really, I really should sit down and upload two videos that I need to upload and answer my emails, but I feel like I'm on a roll and I don't want to stop and now I want to watch all this bedding. Well, I talked to you guys about what we're doing tomorrow night. So Jordy got us reservations to a restaurant I've been dying to go to and he got these reservations literally months ago. It's called Addison. It is the only three star Michelin I think think in all of Southern California. It's by far gonna be the most like expensive bougie meal I've had in my life. And I'm so, 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 so thankful. And I also like, I already feel a little bit of guilt about how lavish it's gonna be. But I've spent the last couple months preparing, selling like camera gear and things of the sorts. And I've officially sold enough things for the cost of the dinner. So I feel like in my brain, that makes me feel like I can just enjoy it. It's gonna be 10 courses which for the Michelin Possible video I'll be doing makes it easier because I'll have 10 things to choose from. Hopefully be able to pick one of the things that looks the easiest. But if y'all haven't seen that series, it's where I go to like, I have a couple different variations of it, but where I go to like a fine dining restaurant and then try to blindly recreate one of the dishes as a home cook who has no idea what she's doing. I've known for months now it's gonna be on May 1st, but it's crazy that May 1st is already here, <laughs> which is also the first day of Lupus Awareness Month. So maybe it's a little gift to me. Anyways, obviously Jordy will be helping me film some of that for the Michelin Impossible video. So I'll also bring this vlog along as well. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. I haven't even, I'm sure there's a dress code. I gotta figure that out probably. <laughs> What a big day. Um, I just have been doing computer work in bed, but it's about time for me to get ready for my interview because I need to wash my hair. I slept in a slip back bun, which I've never done before. Oh, I wonder if it helped, but I did a braid and then basically bunned the braid. And I liked the look of that a lot more, but all that to say, I need to do a full hair wash. And I'm also filming like a pretty big campaign today that's gonna take most of my day. I am supposed to come with three questions prepared for the chefs and I haven't done that yet. I have like selfish questions that I'm curious to know their opinion about the program, but I feel like they want us to ask the type of questions that like, you know, kind of boost the chef's ego a little bit. Like I know what they're looking for, but I have my own questions and I'm like, do I waste my questions on giving them what they want? Or do I ask the questions I want to know? I think I might just ask the questions I want to know about like the hybrid program in comparison to the in-person program because in the in-person program, you fabricate a lot of full animals. And I'm like, are we gonna be able to get that same experience at home by going in, you know, for 24 hours in person every few weeks? Um, and then I'm also curious to know their opinion on celiac. Oh, other side. Yeah, just kind of know their honest opinion on me doing this program with that. But I gotta prepare, so wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, getting set up and ready. Um, there's massive construction happening on our street. They actually turned off our power earlier this week. I don't know what they're doing this time. I don't think it's a big deal for the um, interview, 
But for the other things I need to film today, it's a little bit of a bummer. I'm just gonna jot down a few of the things before we get started here. And I'll let y'all know how it goes after. I just get some of my thoughts down. Wish me luck. That construction is loud, isn't it? You can hear it, can't you? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I think it went okay. Um, there was an internet problem, and so it cut out in the middle of it, so we had to switch to phone. And then she kept switching between calling me Michelle and Rachel. But other than that, I think I made a good impression. We'll see. We talked all about celiac, and she was like, well, you're going to be graded the same as everyone else. And um, for your in-person exams, like, if things aren't seasoned properly, they're going to deduct points. So you're just going to have to basically learn how to work around it and get feedback as you're learning so you know how much seasoning is appropriate for something, even if you can't taste it yourself, because if you fail an exam, so that's kind of intimidating, but I like the challenge. And I have dates, which it's great because my first in-person weekend, which would be, you know, three solid days, is actually the last weekend of my class. Currently my class is Friday mornings, and then this one would start Friday night and be like all Friday night, all Saturday, all Sunday. So I'd only have to do that for one weekend and I wouldn't have to drop out of my current program. So it's all looking very hopeful. I guess we'll just see if they accept me and then I will assess everything with obviously Jordy and my management and look into how I could structure my schedule to make this possible. Maybe look into hiring someone to do more admin work. I'll keep you guys updated. Checking in with you guys because I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you. I've just been uh, from my desk to my bed, to my chair, to my couch, getting things edited and uploaded, but I'm finally getting to a spot where it's clearing out and getting close to time to get ready for dinner tonight. But I wanted to share this weighted pod that I got a while ago has been my favorite thing. I like to just like lay it on my chest whenever I'm, well, laying down, watching TV, resting, whatever. But even just if I'm doing computer work at this angle, because it, I can feel it like, lower my heart rate and like crush out anxious feelings like I used to do with my medicine ball. I still have that. Jordy actually just got it from storage for me the other day, but this is a much easier way. <laughs> a little less intense so you can do it longer. I guess before I get ready for dinner tonight, I should wrestle back on these couch cushions. I just know <laughs> that it's battle, but if I do it now, it means you guys can have the satisfaction of seeing our hard work together come to a final product in this same video. So that's gonna be my motivation. There you go, bud. Get your couch all back together for you. What do you think? I'm glad to get your couch back. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, I let TikTok help me decide how to dress. We want to go watch that one on my TikTok. I'm so excited, and I'll end I'll end this vlog on the montage. But um, thanks again to Quince for partnering with me on this video. I'm going to link all those things down below. I always link things down below, everything I possibly can. I also do timestamps every time I possibly can. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Jory took Max on a walk. I will see you guys for this dinner, and then in another video very soon. Love you. Not that I was counting Standing on the corner Head down to your hips Baby, I was born before you But I'm too young for this On a tree, there's me Shaking like a leaf on a tree, that's me Shaking like a leaf on a tree, that's me Shaking like a leaf on a tree, that's me